What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool, back here again for Practical Machinists as we continue our live coverage from IMTS 2024. We are back here in the Akuma booth to see the debut of a brand new machine. And to help me out, I'm joined by Errol. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much, sir. Now, I gotta ask, this machine obviously, I took a quick peek at it, it's gorgeous, but what makes this machine new and what makes it unique? Well, the original um, uh, horizontal platform they have was an MB4000. Now we've replaced that with the MA4000H. And there's been a lot of differences. Even though the MB4000 has been a staple, probably one of the more, most popular horizontal machines, it's in time to move on. This is it. So as you can see, let's start from the outside. Yeah, certainly. Uh, we've got the new design. As you can see all around it, really pops. Uh, the blue and the black. We've got the new slimline P500 control. These are gorgeous. So these are meant to be designed so the, the milling side and the lathe side are all got the commonal uh, uh, controls. So they look right. the same. So if you, you're used to an Akuma lathe, you can just jump onto an Akuma mill. Buttons all in the same spots, more or less. You don't need to relearn anything. No, everything's exactly the same way as before. That wasn't the case. And now let's have a quick look in the side, what we've done inside it. So this is a third generation of horizontal machines or a new design. The first design, uh, the first new uh, of the generation was the uh, uh, MB5000 Mark II. Then we get the MA600 Mark III. And now this is the third new generation, the MA4000. And what's new about it? Well, firstly, what we've done with putting shower coolant, and especially as chips uh, are, be, are being produced more readily, much more chip, better remo chip removal, uh, chip evacuation has been a major problem. So what we've done, we put a center trough. Oh, here, nice. Right here, right through the center of the machine. We've got steep angled uh, covers in here, uh, single way covers. We have a wash system inside the actual near the uh, B axis and we've got wash inside the, the ceiling as well. Oh, so it all around. So it keeps it totally clear. This used to be optional, now it's all part of all, all the uh, uh, standard build now. A really good thing with that we've done now as well is we've, we've put a servo shutter, uh, servo shutter door, so it's got a servo motor running the shutter door. So that means you can get really synchronized uh, tool changes and, and synchronize the, uh, the tool arm with the door to an it two microseconds. Right, wow. We've got roller cam gears now in the B axis. And so and what makes this really tough, we've used the same uh, bearing configuration what we use on, our, on the bigger 5000. So it makes it very, 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 very rigid. And added with that, we've also got the new 15K spindle Whereas Ooh. before it used to be 199 new meters of torque, now we've got 242 meters of torque. And that comes stock on this that's machine. Stock on this machine wow. now. So that's 38% increase in, in torque on this on this machine alone. Wow. So that's going to open up many a lot a lot of doors. On the on the rear we have the disc magazine. The disc magazine. People ask you why do you have the disc magazine? Because it's space saving. Uh, and, it, and it's very more, much more efficient. But after the disc magazine, we go up to 64 tools, and after that, we go up to 140 tools, 180 tool matrix, and we go right up to 240 tools. So pretty much as many as you want to put on this thing, you can pretty much have an option that will do it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What kind of shops do you see putting this in right now? This is, take your pick. Um, you see this in aerospace, automotive, energy. It's a very flexible machine. Job shops. Yes. Um, there's a good friend of ours. I've seen, I've seen this in many job shops, this machine. So it's a small footprint and you can literally have uh, unattended machining if you if you point it out correctly. Can we take a look around at where the uh, tombstone's Absolutely. going in out of this thing? So this is where the parts get loaded and unloaded. Yeah. Now wow. this, this is unloaded, but at the moment it's a two pallet machine. But what you can do, you can buy the machine and say like in a year's time you've got a big uh, uh, flooded with work you can add a, an apc to this on this machine so this cover would come off and this would interface to a six apc so it will just keep loading and unloading as long as you want it to once you put that on yeah and like i said there's no uh, there's no uh, preparation when you buy it you can buy it like this and you can add this on afterwards and that's a huge thing because a lot of machines i see out there 
that's not the case. If you don't invest in that automation immediately, you're gonna pay a lot more if you can even do it later. These all come automation ready. So. Automation ready. Yeah, Jeez. all of them. Yeah. And that thing, what's the, uh, is this the tombstone that you guys typically recommend for it? To yeah, it depends, on, depends on the part. You could have four-sided. Well, this is a this is a a, 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 a classic tombstone. Correct. We could have a box tombstone, which is going to be uh, 400 by 400 by 400, or it can just like the classic tombstone style. You know, so or you could even put a a, a fifth axis on there, which people do. And of course, of course, I'm sure if you wanted to, we're talking Okuma factory automation today with all the even newer advancements on top of the pallet pool. You could probably integrate it with just about anything over there that you want. We have a plethora of, uh, of choices now when it comes to uh, automation right now. Um, so many different options and we have a flavor to, to suit everybody. Now, if people want to find out more about this machine and all the machines here, where can they go? Uh, well, we're covered by 50, we cover all 50 states and we have one of probably the best distribution system in the US. I don't care what anyone thinks. I think we have we have a relationship that's 40 years, so all 50 states are covered. So if you're in Alaska, if you're in Maine, if you're in Florida, you'll have a, one of our distributors close by you. And of course, they can come see you here live at IMTS throughout the week. You're more than welcome. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank and you. make sure you guys stay tuned as we continue going live from IMTS 2024 all this week. Thank you very much for watching, guys.